Oh, we're gonna go to the gender stuff. I always, everybody's gonna go there. Okay, let me tell you why nobody slept for me. No, I bet she's fine the rest of her life, but the trouble is if a man acts like an idiot in public, by the time he's 20, he's gotten his ass kicked once or twice more. And his friends check him, women look at him like they shit in his suit. Ugh. There's nobody in your life who corrects you, because right now you're being cunts and you don't realize it. Yes, I, I didn't say C word, I said cunt, you heard me. That only stops people in this country, Australia, England, they love that word, because their accent is awesome with it. <laughs> yeah, but see, it worked, they're quiet. So next time someone gets loud, fellas, don't blame her, blame you. Blame yourself, because you wanted to get late so bad you didn't correct her. That's how this stuff takes flight. If women ran the world, there wouldn't be any war. We all know that's bullshit. It would just be different. We wouldn't bomb all these countries. Right, we would bomb the same country over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Long after the poor bastard surrendered. And half the time they bombed us, they wouldn't know why. Why don't you ask that bitch Canada? I found her number in your phones. I had to go there with you. Everyone was looking at you. They couldn't hear the show. So I had to police it myself. I live in the estrogen house, too. And there's certain things you can just throw down. It's bad. I want to have a son now. Because I don't want my daughter to be an only child. Do we have only children here? Clap if you're an only child. There you go. There you go. No, I want to find out where you are for a beer. Boo, I'm <laughs> jealous because you don't know about things like sharing. <laughs> Compromise. You don't know what the hell that is? Oh, clap if you have two or more siblings in the house right now. Two or more in the house. Maybe you're good at dealing with people. You didn't ask for these people. Your parents just put them there and you had to deal with them. <laughs> sharing, fighting, pushing, punching, funny. But you've learned how to be good with people and read their moods. Only children miss out on that. Something about having an older brother sitting on your head and farting in your mouth just makes you a better person. <laughs> Nothing like a nice Dutch oven to keep you honest, I always say. <laughs> Here's another desperate to women not checking each other. When women wear the wrong thing, I cry. Because when a guy wears something slightly stupid, all his friends... <laughs> right in his face. That's why we've got the simple t-shirt jeans the rest of my life and scared shitless here. But men women can look sexy if they wear the right thing, but their friends don't check them. Either the long flowy dresses, the jewelry, awesome. I saw a girl the other day, she had to wear at least 300 pounds wearing hip hugger jeans. Out with six of her friends, none of them could say anything. Muffin top so bad you could smell the blueberries. It was awful. Just know what you look like. You could have watched you put one more button down. Hell no, we're really going letting this shit out. I know what's wrong with me. <laughs> Keeping this shit hidden. <laughs> That's the other reason we went with loose clothes. People don't know we're getting fat. That's what guys do. Nobody cares either. Women are paranoid about that. She said I did some stuff on the E channel. You ever watch that Kardashian family show? Yeah, I said no, on purpose. No, I'm avoiding it. I try, but it just pops up on my TV sometimes. <laughs> And on the internet, you're just trying to get to your email, the news pops up. News. News is that what reality really? Can I actually break up? That's not news. What happened? But better that, you know, better that than just death and destruction. Isn't that what I saw on the news all the time? So depressing. And if you have a slow news day where nobody died, they'll just lead off with someone's most humiliating moment. I saw a guy getting rescued from a flood. Top story on CNN during the flooding in the river in the uh, like Mississippi River a couple years back. And when they pulled him out of the river, you can see his pants were hanging on one angle. Yeah, it happened in LA once five years ago too. Guys, pants hanging on one angle, 18 CNN news cameras on him, and they blurred out his crotch. If that's ever me, blur my face. <laughs> Seems so logical. minutes of fame. As long as nobody knows it's me, I really don't care. <laughs> if you have to blur it for censorship reasons, help me out with the ladies. Make my blur go all the way down. <laughs> Just create an illusion. 
Yeah, there is no fighting now. I've tried everything. <laughs> I want you to laugh, but not the detriment of the entire crowd. But they're just eating, keeping their head down. We don't hear shit. <laughs> we don't follow rules. We did a bachelorette party, there wasn't some right. You try doing your set with a giant build up on the table right in front of you. That's what happened. Bachelorette parties are a wild one. Bachelor parties, we like, we're afraid of getting kicked out of places. We don't kind of, kind of keep it as low key as we can. But I will say, this is what happened though. I was uh, doing the Kardashian show. They wanted me to write some funny jokes. And the first episode I ever saw, was a couple years ago, Kim Kardashian finds two inches of cellulite on her very famous ass, goes right to the doctor and lasers it off. Now, here's my point. Fellas, you got Kim Kardashian naked in your bed. You find two inches of cellulite. Round of applause, how many men would this stop? Thank you very much, nobody. <laughs> There's like 150 dudes in here, and not one of them clap. <laughs> Ladies, so quit worrying that much about your body. If you have the bubble butt, we don't care if it has some bubble wrap. Relax. <laughs> We're not perfect. That stuff's just fun to pop at Christmas. <laughs> Our pluses and minuses at the same time. That's what confuses people. Like, like cleavage, awesome. Cleavage shirt, big tits. Round of applause for tits in general. That's just... <laughs> and everything advantage for men and women alike. If I say round of applause for giant dick, then some women would clap, but others would look around and say, I bet there'd be another one. <laughs> but the difference is, it's because your cleavage is allowed to be on display, and therefore it gets you free shit. <laughs> It's just not an option for men. The most well-hung guy in this room better still learn how to talk or he ain't getting laid. <laughs> but the right-dressed woman could have a great time not saying a word. <laughs> you don't believe me, fellas? Hang it out of your pants sometime and see how much free shit you get. <laughs> you ride to jail this free, maybe that counts. <laughs> Speaking of riding to jail, is it time for police to go back to all driving the exact same car that we could spot for miles away? <laughs> if I messed up and you catch me, my fault. If you snuck up on me, screw that shit. <laughs> the siren underneath the dashboard has got to go. That's sneaky. I call it the transvestite tuck under. <laughs> it's just like a transvestite. You don't get the important info until it's too late. Thanks for admitting you know what I'm talking about, my kind of crowd. I like you guys. <laughs> but it's just, it's not so much the siren. It, it's, they drive everything, right? And they, they lend out those old police cars. People can drive them, they don't even paint them. I've been pulled over by everything. Motorcycle, SUV, one time, minivan. No shit, a minivan cop. Pull through, you're nodding, and she's saying, no, they're out there. They're all over Canada, but there's a few even here if you don't want to look. That's like, who, who is that? The guy that got to work last? You got the minivan today. <laughs> what a great, you're never going to be trained for that. You can get pulled over by three of those, but your mind is never going to associate a minivan with cop. On the side of the road, after he pulled me over, I still don't believe it. I'm like, okay, what have I done to piss off the soccer mom police? <laughs> you know why I stopped you? <laughs> I forgot to take out the trash? What? You didn't write me a ticket, you just gave me a timeout. There's something that's changed. <laughs> now that was different. It's just in different generations. Like, we're not allowed to hit my daughter at all. If you, if you, if you yell at her, people look at you funny. But I was spanked with a hand. My dad was hit with a belt. My grandpa got hit with a tree branch. I don't want to ask what was happening to my great-grandfather. They're running him 